seconds for her to pull it up. So I have a question. Do you guys see anything wrong here in this video clip? No? Look again and, and pay attention. Look very, very closely. So this video was sent to me yesterday by an anonymous subscriber from their cruise that took place on board the Carnival Valor on July 2nd. Now I'll be honest with you, when I first saw this clip, I thought to myself, so what? It's not a big deal. There's a toddler hanging on the railing. It happens all the time. But if you look closely enough, you can see that the two adults, which I'm going to assume one is potentially a parent or maybe an auntie. Anyway, you can see one is kind of taking like a selfie while the other one, and according to the subscriber that sent me this video and recorded this video, you have the other woman essentially looking out to the ocean and nobody is paying attention to the child that is leaning over the edge of the balcony. I meant to say railing, by the way, not balcony, but you all know what I mean. Anyway, I did put a video out yesterday in regards to a kid misbehaving. There was a kid that threw something over the railing out into the ocean from the ship. And I did talk about a couple scenarios because there were people that were saying that the misbehaved children have somehow increased. The kids on board cruise ships, whether it be Carnival Royal, NCL, you name it, have seemed to gotten more worse as far as behavior. Things are, are escalating when it comes to the kids and the teenagers. And looking at the scenarios, I said, well, maybe it's the pandemic. I don't think this is the sole reason, but I said, you know what? I know a lot of people have lost all common sense during the pandemic, and I'm not trying to put all the blame on there. I was looking at possible scenarios. If it is a situation where kids and teenagers are just behaving a lot worse on board cruise ships. However, there is something that a lot of you highlighted and it's something that I should have mentioned. I apologize, but there is a big word here and it's accountability and it's accountability to the adults or the parents, not the kids. As the old saying goes, the apple normally doesn't fall far from the tree. And if a parent isn't teaching a child growing up to a teenager and eventually an adult right from wrong, then, well, they aren't going to learn any lessons in life and a lot of them can potentially become bad apples. However, let's be realistic here. There are parents out there that do a great job and do literally everything they can because there is no set guidebook to being the perfect parent. There's a parent that could be, one could be a cop, one could be a college professor between the mom and dad of the parents and they could teach the kid everything as far as how to be a productive member of society and how to be a good person and treat people and they ended up doing some crime and going to jail or whatever. Those scenarios have played out time and time again. So there is no right or wrong way to do it. But I do believe in certain scenarios, it does come down to accountability of the parents as far as what they will let their children do and what they won't let them do and what is considered traditional bad behavior. Now looking at this clip that I showed you at the beginning of the video, being realistic, it would only take a second for that child to fall over. You can see the toddler is already leaning over and looking down and you got two adults there that seemingly or potentially rather are not paying attention to what's going on. Now again, I know this is kind of like a nitpicky thing, but situations have happened, which I'm going to bring up in a minute. But looking at this, if this were to happen, there's only two realistic options as far as what would happen. Well, in a general sense, the kid would either unfortunately die or he'd suffer some serious injuries. But other two scenarios would mean that I don't know what's below that railing. Either it's another deck or it is the ocean. But either way, if the child were to fall, it is not good, no matter how you look at it. This would then prompt a lot of discussion on people saying, because obviously the media would be all over it, debating on who is in the wrong. Should the cruise lines have higher railings or are the parents responsible? That would obviously come up and then there'd be a court case where the parents or the adults in this situation are almost guaranteed to sue. And I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but that's something that would definitely happen. Well, I, honestly, it is, it is wrong. Forget that, it is wrong. Because if the child were the fault, it would be 100% the parent's fault. It would be a situation where the parents are negligent. And then on top of that too, this could be the situation that sparks outcry for people and cruise ship railings. Next thing you know, there's plexiglass all over the ship railings and you can't get a real legitimate view anymore because now you're looking through plexiglass. And I do believe that being that we have just come out of this pandemic or rather we're still involved in it, I'm personally tired of seeing plexiglass everywhere that I go. 
Anyway, when you take into consideration the reality of the situation as well as the potential snowball effect, I could see why the person that recorded this and sent it over to me, they told me that they ended up alerting security in order to get the little girl down from off of the railing. Now, I mean this in the most respectful way, but when I was told this from the viewer that sent me the video clip, I thought, hmm. That's somewhat snitch-like behavior, and I apologize, and I'm, like I said, I mean it in the most respectful way, but when they said they told on somebody for another situation for a kid just having a good time, I thought about it from that lens. However, I thought about it again from a realistic scenario and thought about something that happened back in 2019. So, there was a girl named Chloe Wigan, and there was her grandfather named Sam Manello. Back in 2019, on board Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas, Sam Manello, they were in Puerto Rico, ported over there in the summertime, and he was holding her over a window that was open. Unfortunately, she ended up falling. I believe it was like 10 decks or even higher than that, and she ended up unfortunately passing away. Very sad situation. This sparked outcry amongst all the world, and a lot of people were trying to figure out who to blame. They were saying, well, Royal Caribbean shouldn't have had a window open near a, a child's area, and Salmonello shouldn't have done this and done that, and I was even confused in the scenario. To me, I said, okay, well, technically it's both faults. It's Royal Caribbean's fault and the, uh, the grandfather Salmonello's fault. Come to find out that Sam was lying about the whole situation, and he ended up dropping her. He said that she fell and blah, blah, blah. It was a whole mess. So again, that whole situation alone should be avoided because it's tragic and why would you even want to have the possibility of something like that happening in any scenario at any point in time? So that is all that I have for this video, but as usual, I do want to hear from all of you when it comes to this particular scenario. First of all, would you have told or alerted security if you saw a situation like that going on where presumably there was a toddler on the railings looking down pretty high up on the railing, I might add, and two adults that seemingly weren't paying attention? Would you alert security if security was nearby? And also, do you see this situation as a potential danger scenario for the toddler that's involved, or is it just a little bit of harmless fun and the adults are close enough by? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear all of your feedback, but uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Let's have a conversation. I appreciate all of you. I love all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you later. Take it easy.